Hello, my legends. Welcome to another do it yourself. This time it's going to be entitled the Microsoft Teams walkie talkie, right? So this has been going on uh, news articles and uh, some publications for Microsoft Office 365. This is a really, really big known thing that everybody wants to know how to do. We're going to walk basically how you do it from step A to step Z. Um, so what would be the use case or why would you want to have a walkie talkie feature on, on your teams? Well, basically the walkie talkie feature is so that you can talk with colleagues or coworkers where you can have your teams app on, you know, let's say your, I don't know, the manager or dispatch and you need to get in contact with a delivery person or, uh, you know, so, something like that. That would be the use case where I need to contact with somebody out in the field. And no, that's not my real calendar. Um, and um, yeah, that would be the use case. So, uh, or or what if you your iPhone user wants to talk to your Android user and they don't want to call each other because that can be kind of annoying, right? When you have to do, uh, you know, create a Teams meeting or try to find... Uh, Let's see, you know, try to find a new, let's just go here and we'll add a new conversation or I wanna do meet, right? I wanna meet now. I have to wait and I have to give it a name and I try to, I gotta go invite. That's a, that's a step process and that's, in my opinion, too long of a process. Now, in the world of SIP, this isn't new. There's been um, what they call intercom features, which could be either star star, seven two and then extension number oops extension number and call it will call the phone it won't even call the phone it will just start broadcasting like a walkie-talkie type feature so sip has already been around if you are a voip user or sip user um you can do those functionalities already or maybe you can't it just depends on you know it depends on so many voice over ip providers but by default we provide that using the free PBX asterisk protocol, um, we definitely use intercom as an ability. So, I mean, that's been in, but if you are a teams only or Microsoft officer 65 only company and you live within their ecosphere, I can understand the need for this. So, uh, we're going to walk through. So iPhone, Android computers and other supported mobile devices can use this feature to help coordinate um, with fellow employees, to ask for assistance, to chat with other workers who are part of the same team or the project. So there's many use cases for the walkie talkies works for a specific uh, channel. Uh, you can do it for uh, communication with other people. Um, you can obviously, as you may or may not be aware, if you are already watching this, you're probably a team's power user in the first place. So each channel can be derived from the specific team, you know, right? So I can create a new channel and call it walkie talkie if I wanted to. Um, but you don't have to, I can just enable it in a specific channel. <laughs> Uh, that have or, or if you one that you've already created and based off of a team or a project or a role or, or some type of other thing like that so uh just a few examples we'll give you again so like i'm in the it or a help desk support i could be uh, or for a factory employee or another specific project i want to communicate with one of my team members he's out on the job site right uh, and I need to talk to him or, um, you know, we have a question or here's a good one. I like this one. So we're out installing cable. We're on ladders and we need to communicate and tell them, Hey, move the camera down or, um, uh, you know, uh, anything like that. You can have your phone. You can try to make a call, which is, you know, totally up to you. It's your right. But walkie talkie features probably a little easier in that regard. Uh, so the walkie talkie must first be installed and activated through the team's administrative council. So if you did not see me already, I went to portal.office.com or if you, you can, if you're already logged in, you can probably just go to admin.teams.microsoft.com and, uh, start the, the team's administrative console that way. Uh, from there, any authorized users in your organization can use this feature to speak with someone else. Okay. So the first step 
if you're you have to be the administrator at your company's office 365 tenant or at least have administrative rights to the team's uh um area okay and uh so we're gonna walk through that in the walkie talkie app in the team's configuration okay so here we are the microsoft teams admin center this is the global organization uh let's go there real quick uh if you go to the teams apps and click setup policies select the policy global this one right here and make the switch for allow user pinning is turned on this one right here make sure this is turned on first okay um we're going to go right here this it's called the uh what is this called the apps so in the pinned apps right here you're going to click the add apps button and once you do it's going to make a search plane on the right and you're just going to start typing this in walkie talkie this one right here in the search field when the app appears you're just going to click this add button okay and you can tell it's from the microsoft corporation uh you're going to click the add at the bottom of the plane and there it is um now if it's something you're going to use a lot you can make this number one okay and i would say i'd make calling number three chat number two activity number three it's something like that <clears throat> yeah i'm going to save it so that's the litter uh blah, blah. that's the order that we're gonna we're gonna use okay so just make sure you hit save and now you have to wait for the uh, walkie talkie app to appear in the team's mobile app throughout the organization the process can take up to 48 hours but uh usually occurs sooner than that so you know try in 24 you know you can just keep try 12 try 24 but they said allow for up to 48 hours get things ready then android studio i'm just going to show you the application of it so i'll sign in uh here virtual device manager so you would open up your phone in this case but in in order to make things easy i'm just going to uh simulate uh, da, 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 da. okay cool good to go here and we are so in this case you go to, if you're an apple user i don't this i'm not using a mac so i'm not going to go through that but it's the same process right you're going to go to your respective what is it uh play store or store so your app store uh find the microsoft teams click install and if you are two-factor authentication you will need to download the microsoft authenticator app if you have two auth set up for your app um, otherwise this will not work either so that's just another caveat um make sure you do that as well so while we wait for that i'm going to do this one again uh, just so you guys can see what i did so you go to team apps uh set up policies go to global okay and then you wait for it to load maybe it was just too fast so oh nope it's just taking a while hold on Alrighty, and then just make sure user pinned is turned on. We're going to click on add apps under the pinned apps. You're going to start typing walkie. And there it is. Add. Hit add. We're going to bring this up. And click save. And give it 48 hours. So I will um, come back and make sure that this is all good to go for everybody. <clears throat> on my team we'll do a little test call show you the use case of it and i think this will will be a lot of fun all right it's been a few hours later so we're just going to test this out so you're just going to open up your microsoft teams app you'll sign in with your credentials well, this is your credentials not mine we will go to mm -hmm. 
this is 18, 18 character password, so good luck. I'm just kidding. It's not a challenge. Please don't hack me. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. So we hit the walkie-talkie button. You just choose a channel you want to talk to. So we can go like this. Or we can create that one I created, the walkie-talkie button, and hit connect. And there it is. So all I do is no one else is connected. Um, so if there's another person here, we can just, we're instantly in it. And whatever I say here would go across to that person. I'm going to go ahead and hit disconnect because I don't need to be there anymore. But it's pretty simple. So I connect in and anytime I'm ready, I just hit this button. As long as there's another member in here, uh, they would be able to hear me. Um, so we're going to disconnect. It did work. I'm very, very excited about this new feature, what it means for um, many policies holders that would be interested in uh, creating a walkie-talkie-like feature into their uh, fleet or or even for me for IT where we can try to contact other uh, employees, team members. Uh, you know, one thing that would be interesting to find out if we can invite uh, people to outside of our organization. So something like, uh, let's say I did uh client engagement and i had other people in here you know boom it seems like it would so as long as they have it activated on their end i don't see why there would be a problem but of course uh, that's speculation so so far that's how you enable the walkie talkie feature in the microsoft teams officer 65 section continue to like dislike or hit the subscribe button to support the channel really really appreciate it everybody have a good rest of your day